All right, so he walks down. Some animation. Anytime he raises his sword up in the air to summon abs, it's like a free DPS window. And he always summons that at the, at the start. So it's a fighter spin, like backstab, whatever. We usually phase him immediately to the next phase. But I've tried to kill the adds. Nice phase already. In um, this phase, he has AoE around him. He's invulnerable to damage. The outside of the arena will fall off, so make sure you're not on the outside. He summons different adds throughout the fight. This will damage you in there. So this orb is bugged out because I went in biz. But you have to block those by either it'll home onto you and you can drag it into an add or drag it into the boss or use a stone shaper flask to break that orb. So he has an orb on him. He should stone shaper and then it pops the orb. You also get a debuff on you that this guy has. It kind of blinds you and you have to run around the edge of the map because you drop those AoE puddles behind you and you can kill your team if you're dropping those where the team needs to fight the boss. The boss can get stuck over there. Whenever the boss's sword has like a... See, I'm getting something on me right here, I think. Yeah, so, okay, this doesn't blind you, but it's, this is the puddle move. You just walk around the edge so you don't spawn puddles for your team. I missed. See that? I dropped all these puddles. The adds will do like an AoE that blinds you if you get hit by it. So the boss is running the middle. He's going to summon the dragon now. These are like DPS thresholds or HP thresholds. It's like a third for each transition, I would guess. So on this phase, a dragon will come like on the throne. The only thing the dragon does is blow fire across the arena. I think he blows it kind of through the middle to split the arena off, but it can be from like multiple directions. One direction at a time, but it could be from anywhere. He summons zombies here. And the zombies have a debuff on them, but I usually kill them before they hit the team, I don't know if they do. So he's got the poopies on him. He's got a ball on him, and a fire in the middle. So I'm kind of separated from my team now. So I'm just going to crossbow. I have an orb on me. And they got it for me. Find individuals. When the when the sword glows, it's gonna be a really large area attack. The boss will probably die here. We we are pretty geared for the fight. It's a lot more fun whenever you're lower gear. They may have hotfixed the loot, because now it has set pieces on it. It was bugged this morning. They may have hot fixed the loot. So that's cool, I guess. Uh, that's, that's all there is. It drops four items, four purples in classic, and two purples, two blues in casual. They can be legendary or unique on both modes. There's nothing up here. No chest to loot or anything. You have a 15 minute timer to kill the boss. If you jump over here to explore, there's an invisible wall you can't jump back. So don't do that. That's the fire. Flip it and ship it. We did it. Yeah, bosses always drop set pieces. His, his loot was bugged. He was not dropping the appropriate loot. Will... Oh, 